Oh, hey. Yeah. Only thing I'm rocking is I had to tell. Wanna put my block on my chest so wanna What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Jordan. I'm a finesse, a fly dresser. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm gonna be doing a vlog today of, um, I'm about to, you guys, I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. Um, I've never had any like micro shading, blading. I will get the exact name that I'm getting done for you. Um, but I'm about to get them done. I'm so, I'm like excited, but I'm nervous at the same time because y'all, it's my face. Like I don't want, I know it's not gonna go bad, but I am nervous. Like who wouldn't be nervous getting something permanent attack? <laughs> Obviously I have tattoos. Like what am I even talking about? But on my face, like I'm so nervous about that. Um, and excited at the same time, because if you do not know this about me, which you probably don't because I never am on camera without my eyebrows done on, but I have very like light eyebrows. I just, it's just hereditary, I guess. My mom has very light eyebrows. And so do, so does my brother, um, but I hate mine. Um, I just feel like it does not fill out my face the way I want it to fill out my face. Um, and it just, I feel like I look really scary without having makeup on my eyebrows. So every morning I get up and I do them and I'm tired of doing them. Um, so today I'm going to be getting my eyebrows done. I'm really excited. I have the perfect lady to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, but first I just picked up this new selfie stick. I'm so excited. I got a new one and it has a ring light on it. I just ran to Best Buy to get this real quick because on my trip on my way to New Orleans, I lost a selfie stick. And I'm mad at myself because I don't lose things. And because it fell out of my coat pocket um, in Adisa's car seat and then somewhere underneath the plane, I'm never getting that thing back. Um, so I had to go get a new one. So I'm trying this one out. It's pretty bulky compared to like the one I had before because it does have a ring light on it. And I don't think the ring light comes off, but I paid $30 for this and so far so good. I think it's <clears throat> the ring light really works well for me. Um, so yes, I'm about to head out and go do that. She just did my lashes last week and this is how they look. Usually I have really big dramatic lashes, but um, because my natural lash was probably so unhealthy for me doing my lashes all the time um you know they were a lot thinner and not as healthy so we just went like really light and natural with my lashes and I'm still getting used to it my daughter thinks that they look so much better so apparently I looked crazy before whenever I had the big bulky lashes and she's right here laughing at me she probably don't want to be on camera but um you don't want to be on camera no. nope <laughs> So yeah, so the lady I'm going to do my eyebrows, did my lashes, and this is how they look. And um, yeah, I think she did a really good job. Like I said, I'm just getting used to having um, less dramatic lashes. They're still pretty long, which I really like, um, but just not like as thick as how I would do them before. About to head out and head to this appointment. early for my appointment my appointment's at 1 it is now 12 44 um <clears throat> I had to stop and get me some coffee I'm really disappointed because the coffee place that I really love Circle House Coffee was closed I don't know why so I had to go to Starbucks but this is really really good but so today I am creating content for a um um this lady who is opening up her shop she has been doing brows and lashes for a long time and um 
I reached out to her through somebody who recommended her to me and she needed content for her page and for her new salon that she's opening. So this is just me doing content for her. Um, I'm not sure if she wants me like showing the salon um, <clears throat> unfinished. Um, so I'm just gonna be showing like before my brows and then after and of course, of course, of course, giving her um you know a shout out and saying the name of her salon and where you can find her on instagram um because you know pr helping her promote her business um so i'm really excited to work with her you know like i said she did my lashes before and now she is doing my brows um and i'm excited for her like i'm glad i'm able to help her out with her business um, you know, I think it's really empowering just women helping each other out and being, you know, supportive. I'm definitely, definitely all for that. So, um, I'm excited for her. I'm really, really happy for her. I can see like the vision in her salon that she wants for it. So y'all got to check her out whenever she opens. Definitely, um, follow her as well. I will link everything in the description box below and put it somewhere on the screen here so you can follow her as well. Just take my glasses off. So you can see my eyebrows. They are like drawn on. Like you can see, I do this every day and I just... I'm used to it, you know, I've been doing it for years, but you know, not all the time, but I do have hair, like that's actual like hair and stuff. Um, but not all the time, um, you know, I want to be doing it, but I never leave the house without doing my eyebrows. Like I will not go to the store, I will not go to my car and get something out of my car. If I do, I may, I may put on like some sunglasses or something so you can barely see me, but you know, it's just, something that's bothered me for years so i'm excited to get that done i just got my nails done yesterday they're so freaking cute i love them she did such a good job and then i'm going back to get a pedicure my first pedicure i've had since the incident and if you don't know what incident i'm talking about then girl go on tiktok and follow me and watch my story now I'm not gonna make y'all go to TikTok to just to know what happened. But if you don't know what happened, my daughter ripped my toenail off on accident. Um, I had just got a fresh pedicure, acrylic, acrylic. Let me say that one more time so you understand the pain, acrylic. And she accidentally kicked my big toe and ripped off the toenail. And it took months to come off, a month or two to finally come all the way off. And now it's growing back. It's not ready for you know, like a pedicure and all that, like that one particular toe. But my entire feet as a whole are ready for a pedicure. They have grown out since that last time that I got them done. I've literally been terrified to go back because I'm embarrassed. The toe is so ugly, it's like a nub. And yes, girl, I did put a fake toenail on it on my vacation because I wasn't about to walk around in them streets with a nub, look good from head all the way down to big toe. No, ma'am, not me. So I put a fake toenail on it. I glued it on there and put polish on it. And um, yeah, just rocked that baby. Um, and now there's nothing on it. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't. But I'm so excited to go freaking get a pedicure tomorrow because I need one. And I'm so embarrassed for him to see how my toes look. But baby, I need this done so bad because they look atrocious so once girl once I, i'm have my lashes done my brows done my nails done my feet done and i'm just gonna feel so fresh i just washed this wig and she is looking so good and so fresh so i'm about to feel so good like there's nothing better for a woman than feeling just good and put together you know you get your hair done your nails done your lashes done your feet done like baby you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing tomorrow okay if i could have got in yesterday or today with him i would have but he's booked and busy so now i gotta wait until tomorrow but y'all can't tell me nothing after i get the, my feet done nothing 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 and i'm hiding my feet from adise she will not be around not one toe nothing not no not nowhere near my feet again no i'm still like traumatized by anytime anything taps my foot i like jump and like move around and like i'm extra protective of my feet because y'all that hurts so bad 
like I, I I've had pain from like tattoos before and I remember one tattoo was the worst pain but nothing compares to my toenail being ripped off like that nothing does so yeah I'm definitely protective of my feet and will not be having her around my fresh petty anyway y'all Look at my brows, they look so good, you guys. Pain was probably a two out of 10, but they look so good. I'm about to do my makeup and record some more content, but I'm so freaking happy. Oh, this one, this way looks way better, but you can see the background. Yeah, they look so good. Let me come out to the light so everybody can see. Oh, that's too much light. That um, golden yeah. hour light. Yeah, they look so good. Wow. Do you want to be on my um, blog? Oh my gosh. What do I do? What do I <laughs> you guys, this is Yanni. She did my brow. Do you have Instagram? I do. Okay. It is Yanni underscore underscore RDGZ. Okay. I will tag her at the bottom so y'all can follow her and get y'all's brows done too. They look so good. They look so good. I'm so happy. Thank you. You guys, this is Nicole. She helped do my Hi. brows as well. This is her. Ignore the background. <laughs> <laughs> Under construction. <laughs> yes, but she did so good. And her Instagram is going to be linked in the comments down below as well. Um, thank you so much, Nicole. Like, literally, this looks so yep. good. It looks so good. <laughs> like, I just can't believe how good it looks. Okay, guys. I'm going to close out this video. Um, it's late at night now. I just had dinner and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to... Come on here again and show you guys my brows. This is how they look at home. I love them so much. Like, look at that. I love them so much. So, um, she gave me this cute little care card. And this is so cute. It says, like, um, how do you feel day one and day two? Um, and then like the rest of the days all the way up until you go get the retouch, which the retouch 
her touch up is um, eight weeks, I believe she said. So yeah, just the different stages of how you feel. And then on the back is the care instructions. Um, in 24 hours, the first 24 hours, I got to just kind of clean them, like just kind of dab them with um, water. But she gave me this cream here to use just in case I need it and just a tiny, tiny amount, just put on just the tiniest amount if I'm feeling like they're drying. Um, and then just to avoid like getting them wet, like swimming or sweating for at least 10 days, no makeup, don't like rub them, just dab them like that. So yeah, this is super cute and the card is so adorable. I love that. I didn't know it said that on the front, like how you feel after all the days. It's so cute. That is so cute. So obviously I'm like really red. They don't, they don't hurt, there's no pain, but I am really red like between here and under here. Like I think under here a little bit, it's like swollen. But I don't have, I thought I was gonna have a headache when I came home, I don't have a headache. Um, like after I get my lashes on, I always have a headache from lashes, but I mean, it's not, not because it's painful, but I don't know, just I always have a headache, but I love them so much. I'm about to take off my makeup, it looks so bad because I was rushing doing it. Um, so, um, like I mentioned before, all of her information is going to be in the description box below where you can follow her at, where you can book an appointment at, all of that's going to be below for you guys. Um, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you thumbs up this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.